Hello everyone, welcome back to Evie's Queen. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for all your support, those who subscribe to our channel. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Zax.com announces a list of stocks featured in the analyst blog. Every day, the Zax Equity Research Analysts discuss the latest news and events impacting stock and the financial markets. Stocks recently featured in the blog include BYD, NEO, Leoto, and Xpeng, XPEV. Vico sales in China, the world's largest car maker, witnessed the second straight year of growth in 2022 after snapping a three year slump in 2021. Auto sales managed to maintain momentum last year, even in the face of COVID resurgences. Commodity inflation, chip crunch, and supply chain snarls. According to the China Association of Automobile Manufacturers, a total of 26.86 million vehicles were sold in the country last year, marking a 2.1% increase from 2021 levels. Importantly, sales of electric vehicles almost doubled last year, hitting a record high. In December 2022, automaker sales in China were down 8.4% year-over-year to 2.56 million units. This marked the second consecutive month of year-over-year -year decline since May. Surging COVID infections weakened the demand and kept buyers away from showrooms. While the overall car market stalled and automakers suffered production disruptions, sales of new energy vehicles continued their run on the fast lane. NEV sales rose 5.1% to 814,000 units last month. For the full year, NEV sales rocketed 93.4% year-over-year to 6.89 million units. China further cemented its position as biggest EV market in 2022, aided by favorable government policies and subsidies along with the high oil prices. Led by the electrification boom, the market share of NEVs in China auto sales hit 25.6% last year, up from 13.5% in 2021. BEVs comprised 73% of total NEV sales and jumped 81.7% in 2022. Take a look at the December 4th quarter and full year 2022 sales numbers of prominent China-based EV makers like BYD, NIO, Li Auto, and Xpeng. While Li currently carries a ZAX rank 4, BYD, NIO, and Xpeng have a ZAX rank position number 3. BYD hit a new record by selling 235,197 plug-in vehicles in December. This was the fourth straight month when the plug-in vehicle sales volumes of the company crossed 200,000 units. It sold 683,440 vehicles in the fourth quarter of 2022, up 157%. For the full year, the company sold 1,863,494 NEVs, up a whooping 209% year-over-year. Of the total sales, battery-powered EVs accounted for around 49%. BYD delivered 911,140 pure EVs last year, rocketing 184% year-over-year. NEO delivered a, a record-setting 40,052 vehicles in fourth quarter 2022, representing a year-over-year -year uptick of 60%. December's delivery count was 15,815 vehicles, comprising 6,842 SUVs and 8,973 sedans, up 50% year-over-year. NEO's yearly deliveries were up 34%. To 122,486 vehicles for 2022, the cumulative deliveries uh, totaled 289,556 vehicles as of December 31, 2022. 
Li Auto delivered 46,319 units in the fourth quarter of 2022, up 74.6% sequentially and 31.5% year over year. In December, the company's deliveries totaled 21,233 units, representing a 50.7% surge year over year. Last month, deliveries hit a fresh record with Li Auto claiming to emerge as the fastest EV maker in China to cross the 20 thousand delivery mark on a monthly basis total deliveries in 2022 jumped 47.2 percent year over year to 133,246 units and cumulative deliveries reached 257,334 as of 2022 and delivered 22,204 units in the three months ended december 31 2022 this marked a significant decline from the 41,000 751 units sold in the co corresponding period of 2021. The company delivered 11,292 EVs in December 2022, down 29.4% year over year and rocketing 94% from November 2022 levels. Deliveries of the flagship G9 SUV jumped a whopping 160% sequentially to 4,020 units in December. For the full year of 2022, total deliveries climbed 23% from a year ago to 120,757 vehicles. Cumulative deliveries as of 2022 end total 258,710 units. Demand for EVs has been rising amid climate change concerns and, if, and favorable government policies. The government began granting EV subsidies in 2010 to support commercialization. The subsidies were originally supposed to expire by 2022 end. But in April 2020, the government of China announced plans to extend subsidies for EVs for another two years to spur sales. China recorded bumper EV sales last year because of the favorable government policies. EV buyers are entitled to a 10% purchase tax exemption 2023 and also the government is sharpening focus on the EV credit system per the policy a certain percentage of the total sales mix of an auto manufacturer should be battery powered. Those who fail to comply with the target are liable to pay a fine. Companies that surpass the EV sales mix target can sell any surplus credits. That is it for today. Thank you for watching the video. Have a great day.